The next logical question is which programming languages can I use to write an event-driven program? Well, the most common operating system that uses events is Windows. And Microsoft have produced something called Visual Studio, which is something we'll look at in the next video. But there, there are a range of languages that you can use to write event-driven programs that will run under the Windows operating system. The most common of these is Visual Basic. It's a good starting language, it's a good prototyping language, it's relatively slow, but if what you want is some functionality quickly and easily, Visual Basic is your thing. The next thing that you may want to look at is C Sharp. C Sharp runs much faster than Visual Basic. It doesn't handle the events in the same way. But C Sharp has special features apart from speed. It allows you much more access to the hardware, for example. So if you are doing lower level programming, you're getting closer to the machine, C Sharp is a good way to go. The next most popular environment that requires an event driven program is the internet. Most browsers now allow you to select from tabs, allow you to run simple programs, and there you would want to use something like, say, Java. Java is a programming language that runs on all machines. It has a special way of working, and if you're interested in that, see, how the, see the video on James Gosling. Another way of looking at things is to use something called Cold Fusion. Cold Fusion is also an internet programming language, but it has much more in common with, say, C. And then finally, there are the things that allow you to use existing programs. So, for example, uh, in the Microsoft Office suite, there is VBA. Uh, in many graphical packages, such as Photoshop, they have their own event-driven programming language too. So there are a whole host of programming languages out there that allow you to write event-driven code.